My name is Mukota Aziz and I work as the manager testing department of Uganda National Bureau of Standards. So today we are in Imbarara City. We are opening up the third regional laboratory in the Western Uganda, a courtesy of the Danish government and Trademark Africa. Oh, I will take you through uh, the different rooms and where the equipments have been installed and uh, what they will be doing. This one is a gas chromatograph equipment, uh, equipment used for testing for the pesticide residues in the different uh, products, the foods, the fish, fruits and vegetables, uh, the beef, uh, the honey, you can test for the pesticide residues. Uh, these pesticide residues, they come out because people tend they don't follow the good agricultural practices of they first they just spray the pro the product and the, the commodities and just bring it on the market. So our role is to ascertain whether whatever is on the market uh, is meeting the national international requirement. This is the same machine uh, which we use for determination of the methanol content in the different alcoholic beverages and also for characterizing what we call the edible oils to see whether the edible oils have not been adulterated. When somebody claims I'm producing sunflower oil, it should be 100% sunflower. So this is the machine which can determine whether uh, the sunflower is not uh, adulterated with another oil to cheat the consumers. Mm. And this other room, we have the HPLC, the High Performance Liquid Chromatograph. Uh, this is the machine used for determination of aflatoxin, aflatoxin levels in the different cereal products and even in the beverages. And uh, it's the same machine we use for determination of the caffeine content, that active ingredient, the stimulant. We use it for determination of the caffeine. And the same machine we shall be using for determination of veterinary drug residues. Uh, in the beef, in the poultry, and uh, any other product. Uh, as long as the definitive drugs have been put to the product, this is the machine for determination of that. We have uh, the lactoscan. This is the machine we use for determination of uh, the fat, the added water, the protein, the solids, non fats in the milk and milk products. So this is the machine for determination of all those products in a rapid manner for the different milk products. There is another machine uh, which we use for determination of the turbidity in water. This is turbidity in water. Uh, the water should be clear, with, with, with free of any suspension or anything. So this is the machine which can determine whether water is suspended when the filtration process has not been done comprehensively. And then uh, on this other side, we have uh, these uh, fume hoods uh, for safety because when you are handling most of these uh, products, there are always fumes which are emitted. So for purposes of protecting our analysts, we work under the fume hood when extracting for pesticides, when extracting for aflatoxins, and any other contaminant. And then on this other side, these are furnaces. Furnaces are used for determination of the ash content uh, in the different cereal products. Ovens for sample preparation and also for determination of the moisture content in the different products. Then one of the rapid test equipment uh, this one here is used for determination of the alcohol content in the different beverages, the alcoholic beverages. We determine the alcohol, we determine the density, and uh, this is the refractometer. Uh, rapid is the refractometer used for determination of the moisture content in honey and the moisture content in honey and also the bricks determination to, uh, to know the approximate sugar levels. And this is the rapid test equipment for determination of aflatoxin. In a case you want to determine the levels within five minutes, that's the machine we use. This is a crude fiber, crude fiber machine for rapid, if we do, if we do the sample preparation and then also determine the, the fiber content in the different cereal products. And this pH meter uh, is used for determination of pH in the different food and any food products and beverages uh, to know whether they are acidic or alka alkalinic or they are neutral. And in case there's need for modification of the formulation to meet the requirements, this is the machine for determination of pH. Uh, these are just the fridges for sample storage. And then this is a protein analyzer. This is the machine for determination of the protein content in the different cereals and other food products. Then uh, this is also another rapid test equipment, the near infrared uh, spectrometer for rapid determination of moisture, ash, protein, gluten in the different food products. The meal the flowers. It can also be used for determination of the butter uh, the edible oils, it is a, it, it is a, it is a multi-purpose equipment for, do, for doing that. Then the other one is the UV visible spectrophotometer, which we use for determination of the vanillin content in the vanilla and the other, uh, other, other analysis like the chlorides, the phosphates, the sulfates in water and in other food product. 
And uh, this one is just a vibrator for sieve for determination of the different uh, sizes of the different grains, depending on what you require. Tell me. So what you are seeing, these are water baths and the, uh, and the fridges, and uh, they are used for sample preparation. Then when you are growing the microorganisms, the different microorganisms I mentioned, we use the different incubators. They are programmed at different temperatures to favor the conditions for growth of the microorganisms. So once they've grown, uh, we can now ever em emulate and, and know the content, the, the, the quantity of those microorganisms using this automatic colony counter, so forth. So basically, those are incubators. That one's a, a freezer, which can go up to negative 70 degrees, uh, which is to restore most of the live culture media. For those microorganisms, we have the live culture media, which we store under that. And that ones are just refrigerators. And I urge you, all the people in the Western Uganda, to embrace and take advantage of this lab, which is being opened up today, which will be used for testing the various food and any food products uh, made within the country, so that you can facilitate trade and also protect the consumer.